Okay, so welcome back. Um, I want to just show you a bit of a power comparison test and uh, just interested in your thoughts really. So we're going to start off first of all with the old faithful, which we all know and love. It's the Beifeng UV5R Plus. This one comes in many different um, kind of styles and, and models and comes under various different names as well. Claims to be, I think it's 4 watts VHF and UHF 5 watts. Uh, I know a lot of people are stating that these radios that you get from China tend not to be uh, quite as stated. But I found that the Bofeng UV by far tends to be pretty accurate in its, uh, in its power. Uh, I've had quite a few, and I still do have quite a few, as you've seen by my uh, other videos, uh, quite a few of these radios, and they all tend to pretty much have the stated power. So there we go. So that's the Bayfeng. Then not so long back, uh, I managed to get hold of some programming software for my Zasto A28. This one claimed to be 10 watts in power. This is a 16-channel UHF handheld radio. And here we have a frequency and power meter. It's a GY561. Um, it's not the most accurate in that if you were to connect it to your radio, it doesn't give you exactly the same frequency it's transmitting on, but um, it's extremely close. Uh, so it's good enough for what I use it for. And also for the power rating, it seems to be kind of okay, pretty much spot on. Um, I have tested the Bofeng previously uh, on uh, UHF, and uh, it was just over 5 watts in power, which I was quite pleasantly surprised about. So that's radio, I'm happy that that does give the right power. So what I'm going to do first of all, just to show you, is to connect this power meter to the Bofeng. Okay, so I've connected the uh, radio to the power meter. I'm going to turn the power meter on, and I'm on uh, UHF. So when I transmit, 5.6 watts, down to 5.5. Try it again. Let me zoom in, in fact, it might be better. Five point six, five point five, five point four. Okay, so that's uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, an accurate reading. This radio has been tested on more accurate um, test equipment, so I'm happy that that is the case. So coming out, then disconnecting the Bofeng, we're going to try the Zasto. Now this is again on UHF. It's a 16-channel radio. Um, it claims to be. Uh, 10 watts in power on UHF. So this is the Zasto A28. Exactly the same format. Screw the power meter directly into the antenna by the SMA. Turn the radio on. And let me zoom in again for this part. So this claims to be 10 watts. Turn the power meter on and transmit 19.3, 19 19.1, 19. Okay, so uh, there you go. It seems to be uh, a lot higher than 10 watts. Slight fluctuation as we transmit and hold on. Um, also, this uh, radio has been used quite a lot recently, it's not even been charged, so it, it's probably, yeah, be a bit more stable once it's fully charged. But it's certainly giving a lot more power, according to this meter, than 10 watts, which I'm not going to complain about. It's a great radio, I've done a review on this, and um, I've not done a distance test yet, but I will do shortly. I just wanted to show you this. So there you go. So there's a quick demonstration of the power output from the Zastone A28. I have no reason to believe that that reading is not accurate, and I do believe that it is giving out uh, about 18 stroke 19 watts of power. Um, if you've got any thoughts or any comments, please let me know, write them in the descriptions below. Also, if you've uh, experienced using the Zastone A28, 
it's not a very popular radio. I've not seen many of these about, um, and you don't really see them much on eBay. Um, so I'm keen to hear whether you've uh, experienced them for yourselves. So please let me know how you get on. I will uh, do some sort of range test at some point on these. I'm trying to figure out a good way of doing it because we all know that UHF is very much line of sight. I didn't get up to 70 to 80 miles uh, apart with a good line of sight and, uh, and it'll still work even on low power. So I want um, to do a test, a bit more rugged test, something a bit more challenging. So it might not be a range test, more of a comparison uh, in uh, tricky situations than, uh, than an actual range test. So keep on uh, looking out for my, uh, my latest clips. I uh, hope this has been of some interest. And remember, comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, I'll see you soon.